Hey there and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video tutorial we will learn how to send email to quiz takers after the quiz completion. Sending email to users can have various purposes like to boost your website engagement, to collect data of your users or just to send a confirmation message or a thank you message that they have successfully completed the quiz. Here is the example of the email you can get after the quiz completion. As you can see, the email comprises the information form data, the questions, the answers, the correct ones, whether you have answered correctly or not for the questions, and of course, it includes the certificate you got for the quiz. So let's create a quiz together to achieve this result. In order to create a quiz and send email to users after the quiz completion, we need to have the QuizMaker plugin installed on your WordPress dashboard. As you can see, I have already installed the plugin so as not to waste your time. Also, I have created the quiz, the testing quiz we will explore during this video tutorial. In a general tab of the quiz, you can see I have already added the questions of the quiz. In order to add questions to the quiz, you just need to click on the Add Questions button and choose your preferred questions. If you are wondering how to create questions, you just need to go to the Questions page and add new questions. In order to create a quiz that will send email after the quiz completion, we need to have several options and settings enabled for the quiz. With the first step, we head to the User Data tab and scroll down to see the information form option. As you can see, it is disabled now, but please note that in order to send an email after the quiz completion, you need to have the information form enabled for the quiz. You can set either after quiz or before quiz to display the information form. Uh, in our case, we will display it before quiz. If you want the users to see their results and download the certificates only if they fill in the information form option, you can just set information form after the quiz. By scrolling down a little bit, we will see the available fields. We need to double click on a desired uh, fields to insert them into the active field. So we need to choose the default name, email and phone if you want. Please note that you can insert any custom field you prefer, for example, gender. You can create new custom fields by going to the custom fields page. After choosing your desired active fields and configuring the settings of the user data tab, we need to go to the email and certificate tab of the quiz. Here you can see many different options. For today, we need to tick the send email to user option. By ticking the send email to user option, you can see many different sub options here. Please let me explain each of them one by one. The first sub option is the passcode checkbox. Once you tick this option, the users will receive email only if they get the minimum passing score for the quiz. The passcore option will be of use to those users who are creating an educational quiz and somehow want to test the user's knowledge. In order to set a passcode for the quiz, you need to go to the Result Settings tab and find the passcode option. Here you can set either by percentage or by points, whatever you prefer, and you can set quiz pass message and quiz fail message. So we go back to the Email and Certificate tab. In our testing quiz, we don't need the passcode option, so we untick this option. Then comes the email message option. What is great about the email message option is that it's a WP editor and you can insert uh, HTML codes here or insert message variables and achieve your desired result. For example, we can click on a message variables and choose the ones we prefer. For example, we can take the username and score. Here we can write, for example, thank you for thank you username for passing the quiz. You got then insert 
this message variable points for the quiz. By doing so, you can send a personalized email to the users. Like you mentioned, thank you someone for passing the quiz. You got these points for the quiz. Then comes the send results to user option. By taking this option, you can send a results report after the quiz completion to the users. The send results to user option will be of use to those users who are creating, for example, an educational quiz and want to send the results to the users so that the users can see whether they have answered correctly or not to the questions. In our case, we will tick this option as we need to display the results in the email. The next option is the send interval message to user option. As you may know, the plugin has the interval message option. With this option, the quiz will display the most relevant text based on the answers of the users, like based on the intervals the user appeared in. Let me show you the intervals option. We go to the result settings tab, scroll down a little bit, here it is. Here you can set either by percentage, by points or by keywords. Then you need to write the corresponding text here and the users will get the specified message after the quiz completion. We go back to the email and certificate tab. So the send interval message to user option will be of use to those users who are for example creating a personality quiz and want to send the personality type to the users. And the last one is the send email for testing option. Here you need to write a testing email uh, so that you can send the email to that testing email address and check how the email looks like. Besides all these advanced features, the plugin also has the send certificate to user option. By taking this option, you can also send the certificates to the users via email. Also, if you are the admin of the website and want to get an email once someone completes the quiz, you can take the send email to admin option. And here you can find many different sub options here. Also, here is the email configuration feature where you can configure the following settings. That's all. Together, we created a quiz that will send an email to the users. So, we need to save the changes. The last step is to show the quiz on the front end. So, we go to the general tab. By scrolling down a little bit, you will see create post for quiz option. We tick it. Then save the changes. By scrolling down a little bit, you will see that the system has created a post that already includes the shortcut of the quiz. So, we click on the view post button. Here is the quiz on the front end. Here is the quiz on the front end. We click on a start button and here you can see the information form fields, name, email, phone number and gender. We need to fill in this field so that we can receive an email after the quiz completion. So we fill in this name and email. We can skip the phone number and we fill in the gender. We need to choose the answer options and click on the finish button. Here is the result. By going to our inbox, we will see the email sent to our email address. Here you can see the information form fields, name, email and gender. Here you can see the information form fields, name, email and gender. Also, you can see the duration and the score you got for the quiz. Also, you can see the questions, their correct answers and the answers of the user. By scrolling down a little bit, we will see the certificate sent to us. So today together we learned how to send an email after the quiz completion to quiz takers. As you can see, it is easier than you can imagine. Stay tuned for more informative videos. Bye!